Hi everybody, I'm Charlotte. I'm one of the writers here at We Love PV. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, we Love PV is a proud sponsor of What a Drag, a very um, highly anticipated event that's coming up on March 8th. It is going to be at the Teatro Vallarta Theater, which is a 900 seat capacity theater. Uh, there really isn't a bad uh, seat in the house. Um, and this event is in its sixth year, um, very popular, pretty good chance you're not going to get a ticket if you wait till the night of the event. We're going to find out a little bit more about it. I'm sitting here with Freda and Steve who are very much involved in this event and we're going to learn a little more. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you for this. And thank you for being a sponsor. We appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Um, so Freda, in a nutshell, tell us a little bit about what, what a drag is all about. What a Drag is a fundraiser for the Banderas Bay Women's Shelter where straight men are standing up against domestic violence and they dress in drag and it is a musical variety comedy show and it's a one of the most anticipated events of Viarta every year. We have people now that book their vacations around our event. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> so that's what a good show guys like this put on for everybody. It will not disappoint. Oh, that's awesome. And so um, where did this idea come from? Straight guys in drag for a fundraiser. And over the six years, how has it evolved? Well, of course it came from cocktails on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it came from. We had been working with David Sue, the founder, for several years uh, to build a shelter for the women and children of Jalisco and Nayarit and had different events, but we're trying to come up with something different and something that could make more revenue for the shelter. And over Cocktails on the Beach, someone suggested this and it just all came to fruition. Is that the correct word? <laughs> um, it, we started with uh, some of the prominent business owners here in town being in the show the first year and many women twisting their husband's arms uh, from the expat community and um, it's just we started at Act 2 Entertainment and sold out the first year by the second and third year of course we had sold out and we were uh, disappointing many people that had heard about the show and wanted to come and couldn't get tickets. So um, we were lucky enough that um, the owner of Teatro Viarta, uh, Vincente Aguilar, heard about our dilemma and through his generosity offered us the theater which has a 900 seat capacity. Because some people were wanting the guys to put on a show two days in a row and we were like, no. <laughs> this is enough to ask them to yeah. do it one time, you know, not not twice. We've got to find a, a bigger venue, mm -hmm. and we did, and so that's where we, this will be our third year at Teatro. That's awesome. And so how many contestants will participate in this event, and how does one become a contestant? Well, this year there will be eight contestants, and it is actually an honor to be asked to participate in the show. As I said, there's many um, retired expats, uh, businessmen in town, uh, business owners in town that have participated before. I hear there's a waiting list. There is a little bit of a waiting <laughs> list. Yes, there is a little bit of a waiting list. And I thought that, who knew when we started this, how would it go on all these years? But luckily there are enough straight men that are stepping up to the plate. Um, so our followers, our supporters recommend people prior contestants recommend people, and then we take it to the committee and see if it's, um, you know, someone that we want in the show. That's awesome. And um, so, Steve, you are a contestant. This year, yes, I'm a contestant. <laughs> How on earth do you prepare for something like this? Do you have a theater background? Were you drafted? Did you volunteer? Did you know a previous <laughs> contestant? So, um, last year, um, my wife had signed us up to hand out programs um, before, while everyone was going into the show. It was our first time experience what a drag or anything. And we went 
and we handed out programs because you know we moved down here to Bayarda and have been looking for different ways to to be a part of the community and give back to the community so we went we had a blast after the show I made the mistake of saying I think I could do that <laughs> you write that down we'll be following up on this yeah. And then a few months later, I got a call. <laughs> so, yeah. Walk I mean, the talk. <laughs> that's kind of how it went down, how I got involved. So, I mean, it is, I, and, you know, after going, I realized that some of the people that I knew from around town were already involved in it and stuff, too. So it just kind of seemed to be a good fit for me in, in a way that I could give back to the community. So, um, question for either of you: What what other things are we going to see at this event besides the contestants that have been diligently practicing? I hear there are other performers uh, that have, you know, come out to donate their time for this as well. Yes, everything at this event, um, 98, 99 percent of uh, the proceeds go to the charity. Everyone volunteers their time, as well as many talented people. So the show will start, or before the show starts, for the VIP ticket holders, which their tickets are 1,200 pesos each. So for the VIP parties, uh, uh, ticket holders, there will be a free party at Mango's, and we will have entertainment there. Debbie Halliday from Nacho Daddies will be singing there. Then at the show, uh, we have uh, other entertainers from around town during spotlights. Kim Kuzma from the Palm will She's do fantastic. a number. She's yeah. fantastic. Uh, Mary Porter, who's fairly new to town, okay. but has performed it in Kanto and is very mm -hmm. talented. She will be doing a spotlight number. Ellie Estrada, that uh, won um, the Voice of Iarta in 2016, will be doing some ditties for us. And then, of course, Head of Lettuce from Act Two is once again our wonderful MC. And then we'll have a few surprises too. We can't tell you that. Okay. So you're <laughs> gonna, you're gonna have to go to the show to find out. Exactly. What those are. Exactly. Right. exactly. Okay. So how much um, since the inception of the show has uh, what a drag raised for the women's shelter? Uh, over the last five years, we've raised approximately three and a half million pesos. Well, yeah. Last, I mean, for here, that's a lot of money at a fundraiser. Yeah. Last year we went over the million mark. We're already at 725,000 pesos and we hope to do a lot more than a million this year so we need everyone's support, sponsorships, donations, tickets. Um, the federal government, there's a grant from the uh, Mexican federal government mm -hmm. that takes care of the shelter from May to December. So our event takes care of the shelter from January through April with mm -hmm. all of their expenses and some of the expenses during other months of the year that the grant does not cover. So the community really is helping make a difference for these women and their children. That's that's awesome. That's that's more than I expected to hear. So we're, we're very proud of all the community support we've gotten for this event from every cross section of the city and it's just helped us make it very successful. So um, if you wanted to go to the event, mm -hmm. how do you go about buying your tickets? Well, if you're interested in a VIP ticket, I'm the VIP <coughs> concierge lady, and those are available through me. If you go to our website, whatadragpv.com, it has my email address, and I think Charlotte's gonna be kind enough to put my email and the home phone number here. That's for VIP. We also have a general admission, 600 pesos, and a gallery, 300 pesos. Again, if you go to whatadragpv.com, you can register and get all kinds of updates on the guys and the performers and our very drag mothers that help these guys transform. And it will take you to Eventbrite where you can buy a ticket of general admission or gallery. But if you have any needs or any situation that can't be handled through Eventbrite, I'm the one that's happy to help you work through that. Wonderful. Um, so it's, it's such an important uh, issue here. 
Um, every other woman that you pass on the street or that's waiting on you in a store at the at a restaurant is affected by domestic and sexual abuse. And what the shelter does is it provides temporary safe housing for this woman and her children and then follows up with help for permanent housing, helping her find a job, clothing for that job, clothing for the kids, um, mental and health uh, help afterwards. Um, really, it's, it really it digs deep and helps on so many levels. And so um, you can help by purchasing your ticket to help fill up the 900 seat theater um, and join us on March 8th at this event. What time is the event? The show starts at 8. The VIP pre-party at Mango's is at 6.30. Wonderful. And we'll put all of the uh, how to get your tickets uh, in our post so that it makes it easy for you to participate uh, with us. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.